don't tolerate bullshit from nobody in our domain. We, black belts, this is our place. We can do what we want any time we feel like it and feel free as anybody could be in this world in this place right here. As a black belt. So show your power. Enjoy yourself. Stress your power. Don't beg. Don't ever beg. Don't beg for a goddamn thing. Demand it or take it. And in your place, this is your, this is your dojo. No one treads on your territory. We can do anything we want. This goddamn school can a goddamn so we're liberal. If they come through that door, it's open season. It's open game. This is my school. I do what I want in my home. I do what I want in my place of business. And it's goddamn so Now you say, well, my parents told me not to be that way. Big deal. They ain't down here. They ain't no black belt either. They didn't work their ass off to get black belt either. But what the hell they know? I don't know, I took this down. Who'd you ask me? Because <laughs> I've been there. I just come in and the ones who's going to be doing that shit. I'm just listening to you. Of course, you see somebody out there laughing and giggling while you're out here teaching. I flash them all by there and say, man, I have to make this, you know. They say, you want to fight? You tell me their whole life going to change. Just like that. And God said, yeah, hit it. <laughs> hit it. I'm telling you what I want as a black girl. And if you don't want to be that way, then of course you can feel like that. You demand you don't ask for them. You demand one thing from your surroundings. And if you don't get it, ain't nobody got a lie. But common sense is that they respect you. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nobody in the world got like you guys. Nobody. Nobody. There's too many people like me anyway. If they do, they're liars. They're liars. They're much of goddamn lies. They don't want to They just don't want to be I know. I know. <laughs> so, as a black belt, you demand, you walk tall, and you carry your hammers with you. And you use those hammers when you feel like them. Okay? That's all I have. Scared the shit out of everybody that comes in that door. I don't care. Because we're noted down here as being kind of off up here. We're, we're, we're noted as being uh, not the, your sanest school around town. And that's why a lot of people don't come here to school. I will keep up position. But I guarantee that once they come here to this school, though, they come here for one good reason. They don't come here for bullshit. And we all know that. They go to other schools for bullshit. Just to say they're going to private school just to get built easy. And that's why they go to other places and not come here. And of course, because some people don't like me. Oh, they might not like you either. So that's their life in the The deal is, you know, you're not coming here because you, me and him are going to the personality company. You're coming here for one thing, that's to get good. Mm -hmm. Now, I honestly got a feel that me and him can make your ass one of the best around anywhere. If you're in class, we, we can make you do that. There ain't nobody around the table. Who cares? If he's human, we're you. Students use gum in class. All you do is sell them a squawker right there in front of you. Okay. And if you don't swallow it, you grab it by the nose and hold it down. 
watching Shane Star. Yeah. It's insensitive. It's not pitiful. I don't think I'm going to be a black person in this group. Yeah. Now, if a person wises off to you, say, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. No questions that hit you. And don't explain your ass. If a person touches you in any way, He's either a faggot or he's stupid. Idiot. You're not in California. Hard time for the prosecutor to get the faggot out of him. So, just how I throw that in the ring. But anyway, no man touches you. No man touches your body at all. He's stupid. You've got all the women touching you. Okay? Everybody understand how that works, man? So if you're faggot, you tell me today. Or you'll say something, you tell me today. And you won't make wrong If I find out later, I'll stump the ass. Okay, just want, I'm just passing on some word to you now, you know what I mean? Okay, so if you, if you have this secret all this time, and then, then you break it to me on Black Belt Day, okay, and I'll find out about it later, then uh, you're in trouble. Okay. Uh, Let's see what else here we got here. Student doesn't bow before he leaves. You holler at him, hey, turn around about. Because he, he said to hell with you when you walk out. And, and everybody around him. Everybody bows and coming into this dojo. And they bow and they leave on the final departure. Even if they're in the office. And they didn't bow before they leave the dojo. And you see them. Right them back in. Of course, we have no shoes for one on the practice areas. You all know that. Right? No shoes. Nobody. Nobody. I black line back this way. No shoes. What if the person whistles in school? Maybe he's excited about being here. Who you beat his ass with excited? He look. You know, they they did this and did some wishes around. And, and they kind of lose it and say, Ooh. They do one of those numbers. Walk up to him and says, God, if you hear this you don't do it in church. You don't do it. Uh -huh. So explain to him that way and you never hear from him. That's what's for again. Just yeah. See, you know, there's not too much you can do. You know, like mm -hmm. I, he, he got two years in prison or three years. Yeah. See the life or nothing. You know what I mean? So, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, what if a lady comes in or a man comes in? What if a man comes in? You got the earrings. You two guys take yours out before you come to class, right? <laughs> okay. Never wear earrings with your karate gi. Ever. And if you're a black belt in my dojo, I better not ever catch you with an earring in your ear, even in zitters. And I just happen to be up there buying a stick of candy bar. And you come by and you got a pretty diamond, shut up like a diamond and a goat's head, hanging on your ear, I will bite it out. You wear earrings? You smile, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> I said, Norman, have you surprised me all this time? I don't give a shit if it's in your nose or in both ears. I don't care if you're a double faggot or what, if you ain't a faggot, you know, and if that's the style, I have not ever see you with an earring on. As long as you declare a black belt here in the street. The day you wear one is the day you're not a black belt here, and I will come and get your black belt, and I will get your certificate from you. And I will beat your ass. Since it sounds like a monster. Be the life do us part. <laughs> no. You would not be a black belt in my dojo or earring. Ever. So you might as well get that shit. See, but you got a chance to back out being a black belt. Because <coughs> all these things I'm laying out to you.